Hall C6, where we have our booth. But now I'd say, let's get started. Let's get started. A very warm welcome to all BOMA visitors. Great to have you all with us. This is our very first demo show of the day, and we are ready to show you some spectacular machines. Coming in on the right side right here is my colleague Rainer. Coming in on the left side is my colleague Lars. And Rainer over here, we can see on a PC24MR-5. And Lars over here, we can see on a PC uh, 18 MR-5 also. Now, these baby, as well as all other Komatsu utility machines, are a combination of modern technology as well as decades-long experience of Komatsu. And the result, as you can see it right here, are compact, versatile, super user-friendly machines with excellent performance. Now, Komatsu is well known for offering a broad range of machines in all sizes and weight classes. And I invite you, if you would like, show, show go on over there in our hall C6. Uh, that's where we have a, a fantastic array of Komatsu utility machines uh, ready and waiting for you. They, of course, are also all made in Europe. Now let me move just a little bit closer and I'd say let's move from very, very, very small to very, very, very big next. So the mining excavators by Komatsu, they are of course a totally different matter. And just behind me, somewhat hard to miss, you can see the PC4000E. All the way up there is Thomas. Good morning, Thomas. How are you today? Thomas is doing great. So right here, we have a 400 ton mining excavator. I can hear you. Thomas is gonna show us a little bit of what he can do. So what we have here is a 400 ton mining excavator that was not only developed, but is also manufactured in Dusseldorf. Here at the Bauma, we would like to show you the electrically powered version of which Komatsu already has delivered 370 units to customers worldwide. Together with its smaller as well as larger brothers, yes, there is larger versions of this, kind of hard to imagine, but there are. Komatsu has already delivered more than 1,700 large excavators to customers all around the world. Now, some of these machines right here, they were delivered as early as the 1980s. They're still up and running, and they have operating hours 170,000 and more. That is really impressive. And I'd like to give you a couple of uh, quick facts still on the PC4000. We have a lot of power going on here. We have 7,200 volts. We also had to take it apart to bring it here from Düsseldorf. I think Thomas would have really liked to drive it here, but that would have taken a very long time. It would have taken many, many weeks because his maximum speed is 2.1 kilometers an hour. And we had to take it apart into 16 super heavy duty trucks. So now let me make way here for our burn. And also Peter coming in because we would like to show you to another very special machines. here in front of you is the HD 785-8 rigid dump truck. This one as you see it here is used for material handling in mines and quarries all over the world. Despite its enormous dimensions, it is really not that much different in terms of driving comfort than a regular truck. Of course the dimensions they are a bit different. What we are looking here is a length of over 11 meters, we have a width of over 5 meters, and it quickly becomes clear why we decided to use a big gas tank in this case. This one right here fits 1,300 liters, so when you gas up, you're going to have to take a whole bunch of credit cards. What we have here is a weight of 188 tons, and I think we're going to see the PC4000 a little bit more in action now. do here he likes to tease us he shows us a little bit and keeps us wanting for more so here is 
some more Thomas in action with our PC4000 electric. Now the shovel you can see, the bucket is, uh, is quite big. And maybe some of you are wondering how much could go into one of those buckets. And if we fill it with water, we could fill 100 bathtubs with it. So 100 bathtubs could go into this bucket very, very easily. It's a beauty to watch. If you, ladies and gentlemen, would like to have a picture taken with one of our machines later on, we have a special entrance just over there, and our staff can guide you in. Okay, so here we have Bert again. So let me continue telling you a little bit more about this. Now what we have here is a total weight of up to 188 tons. And as Bernd is parked so perfectly here, what we can see on the side is our sticker. This is the 1000 HD 785 that we have sold to a customer in Europe. So right after the Bauma, we're going to wash it and get it all nice and shiny again. And then it's going straight to a customer in Germany. Now this of course means that Komatsu is by far the market leader in the 100 ton class. So, Bert is doing a great job here and now we'd like to bring in a WA 800-8 our operator Peter here is in action. What we see here is a wheel loader. It offers a very comfortable working environment. It offers a very spacious cabin. What our Peter is enjoying here is the AJSS steering, which of course you know as joystick steering. And what we can see here on the camera feed, we have a camera installed in Peter's cabin, so we can watch a loading game coming up next, just a little bit closer. So, Bam is gonna get in position. And while he does that, I can tell you a little bit more about the features that our Peter here is enjoying. Peter is enjoying an auto kickdown function. Peter also has an automatic filling system, an automatic bucket filling system. And he also has an integrated weighing system and those are just some of the functions that make our operator's life easier, that support our operator in the daily work and in the efficient and safe use of this machine. Fantastic to watch our two operators in action right here. We can peek over Peter's shoulder. And that concludes the showing of these two machines. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, dear Bauma visitors, let me move over here. We have just a little bit something prepared for you here. Now, I have a fact that many of you may not know. Did you know that Komatsu is also well known for building a broad range of machines for forestry? Yep. yep. That happens in northern Sweden, a place called Umea, and that's where the Komatsu harvesters and forwarders are built. And based on the wealth of experience that we have, we have developed the WA 475-10 dual linkage, and right here it comes in. Now we can see it in action here. Lars is our operator in this case, and Lars very generously likes to leave the cabin open so we can take a peek inside. What we see here is joystick steering. So our Lars here is a very comfortable, working environment 
Lars is very relaxed. He's relaxed all day long. He could drive all day, not a bother on him. So what we see here is this machine. It was specifically designed for this application and it is equipped with special lifting kinematics to meet the demanding challenges of lifting logs uh, out of difficult situations and also of course giving peak performance. Now the features include a newly designed boom, we have a special reversing lever and we have the revised hydraulic cylinders. They all ensure an extremely high power transfer that's necessary to lift these trees out of there now. Now Lars, why don't you go ahead and not just lift one, two, three, four, all of them. Lift them all up and show us what you can do. And of course our Lars is doing a great job. up all those logs and take them for a bit of a spin right here in our demo area. watch Lars all day driving those locks around but I think it is time to move on. Now Komatsu are also very active in demolition and recycling which is another very important market segment. A key machine therefore is our mobile crusher. It is the BR380 and we'd like to show this one to you now. It will be coming in in just a few moments. And it will be operated by Peter over here with his remote control. Let's have a quick look. Peter driving the PC290 and using the remote control to bring in the BR380 for us. This right here, dear Bauma visitors, is Komatsu's very first zero CO2 machine in Europe. How is that possible? Very easily. Komatsu purchased the equivalent of CO2 produced by the BR380 every year and it plants trees and it does that for the lifetime of the machine. What we see here is a self-propelled machine that feeds the material into the jaw crusher and then crushes it via the vibrating hopper to a predetermined size of between 50 to 400 millimeters. And I'd say, why don't we have a quick look at one of these actions happening right now. Okay, so Peter, show us what you got. Load up the mobile crusher and let's take a look. Now what you are going to see first, dear Bauma visitors on your right side, you're gonna see the pre-screening, that's where sand and smaller fragments are ejected. Metal parts, should there be any, are then removed with the magnetic separator and the uh, separated material is conveyed with the ejection belt. What is very important here, we have internal sensors, so should a blockage occur, which of course uh, shouldn't happen, but if there is a blockage, then these sensors are going to react and they are going to turn off the crusher before any damage occurs. So I'd say let's just wait until uh, until it's finished. Okay, and I can see our other Lars. We have two Larses here in our demo area. Lars number two is uh, stepping into action now because all parameters, as you can see now on the big screen, all parameters for the crusher and the conveyor belts, they can be easily set on the input panel and read and checked on the color display. 
and my colleague switched it uh, so he can use the upper drive control to park the machine. But what he needs to do first is make sure that everything has been crushed and the machine is ready to go. So all the material has been crushed. Now what Lars is going to do next, he needs to stow away the pre-screening so that's not in the way. And then what he's going to do is he will be driving this mobile crusher back to its parking position. There we see the stowaway process. Everything looks A-OK. -okay. Lars giving it a second look. So now we switch to manual. Peter here can put the remote control away. And Lars will be using the upper drive control. Hey Lars, your parking place is just over there. Not, not over there, no, here. So right here in action already, we see Rainer, Rainer, you can see on uh, WA320-8. What you see right here is a 16-ton wheel loader with Z kinematics and fast-reacting hydrostatic drive. It is, as you can see, equipped with a hydraulic quick coupler, and it has its place on any construction site. This wheel loader is equipped with the usual comfortable support systems from Komatsu. So we have torque control, we have smart loader logic, we have the variable shift control, they all support our Rainer here in the safe and ergonomic operation of this machine. Well done, Rainer. Now, I have to say I really have the best seat in the house. Apart, Thomas might have a little bit be or better seat, but this one is pretty good. I can see everything. I can see our fantastic audience, and I can see a little bit of a mess down here. So our Peter here is going to clean it up. And, of course, Komatsu Dozers are well-known, well-proven, almost famous, one could say. And here we have an example. We have the D51PXI-24 bulldozer with hydrostatic drive, a six-way blade, integrated 3D control. This bulldozer only weighs about approximately 14 tons, which makes it perfect for the quick transport from one site to the next. The electronic hydrostatic HST transmission developed, of course, by Komatsu and the Palm Command Control. They offer a very comfortable working environment for the operator on one of the most efficient machines on the market. This particular machine here, it has factory integrated 3D control, which allows the operator to apply or remove material with millimeter precision and offers a very intuitive um, and easy operation via the built-in touchscreen monitor. This same 3D control is also installed over here on the PC290 and our band, um, who is busy now, uh, he will be stationed over there in the 290 to answer any questions that you might have about our 3D system. And with that, dear Palma visitors, we're moving on. Wheeled excavators can be found on many a construction site. And here, for instance, we have our PW100XX. This right here is the newest member of our Wheeled Excavator series, and it gives us a glimpse into the future. What we see here is it's extremely compact, it's super strong, it's versatile. This is what the next generation of wheeled excavators by Komatsu will look like. The development isn't quite finished yet, but this prototype already proves to be just as versatile as a Swiss Army knife. Thanks to the full hydraulic quick coupler, which we just saw in action, it can be quickly adapted to the job at hand with very little effort for our operator, for burnt here, spinning around. All required tool settings for our pressure as well as oil flows, they can be stored in the system and then selected very easily when a tool change, as we just saw now, is due. development of 
of our wheeled excavators looks very, very promising and already shows just how versatile these machines can be. What we see are compact dimensions, a very low transport height of under four meters. We see a powerful drive. We see super strong when lifting and working with heavy tools. Tools. This wheeled excavator, dear Bauma visitors, will be available at your local Komatsu dealer in 2024. Great job, well done. And with that, dear Balma visitors, oh, can you feel the sun is coming out? You're a fantastic audience and I'd like to show you a fantastic machine next. And I would like to direct your attention just over here. What we see here is the PC490 HRD. And HRD stands for High Reach Demolition. Now this machine is designed for the requirements of the demolition and the recycling market. And one very special thing about our newly designed demolition machine is the method to change the boom configuration. At the moment, we have mounted the dig boom on the base unit and Peter now, he will change this configuration to the high reach demolition. This of course can also be done vice versa. And what's so special about this now is that Peter is going to do it all on his own. I'm not going to help him. You're not going to help him. Are you, are you going to help him? No, right? No, maybe you, I know you would. You'd look like a nice person. But I think Peter here has to do it on his own. And the best thing here is Peter doesn't even have to leave his cabin. He can stay right where he is using the patented quick change system. So Peter has honked his horn. Let's uh, set a timer and see how fast our Peter can change his configuration right now. There we are, the timer started. So Peter is a, is a very experienced, uh, very efficient operator. Yesterday he had some really great times. He did 70 seconds. Let's see how fast he could do the changeover today. And what we've done now so that you all can watch this process closely, we've installed a camera in his cabin. There you go. And there you can see what our Peter is seeing. Now what Peter is doing now in the top right corner he was uh, pushing a button on the guidance monitor. This guidance monitor is what our Peter needs because the guidance monitor will tell our Peter how he has to approach the lock system. Now he's gonna approach closely and slowly. And what you see here on the system is he needs to work specifically and precisely and he needs to get the lines to match up. Only then will the system tell him, yes, you did a good job. So let's see what our Peter is doing, timer is running, we're at 61 seconds, and you see it here, he got the blue thumbs up, the system said he did everything right, All, and we can stop the timer at 68 seconds, that's a pretty fantastic time, I think that's worth a big round of applause for our Peter, well done. All hydraulic and electrical lines, they are of course connected automatically, so he's gonna be lifting this up now and during the lifting sound you're going to hear a little bit of a rattling sound and this rattling sound is totally normal we need to hear that sound because that is the sound of the intensifier and the intensifier is needed because it supports the lifting of the equipment so we see now that our peter has his support stand still mounted he would like to set down the support stand. And once he's done that, in the longest configuration with the mounted extension, the Komatsu 490 HRD is able to work with a maximum of a two and a half ton equipment. And it can go up to a height of 32 meters. And what do you say, why don't we all go up to the height of 32 meters now together? 
Peter's left a support stand behind. It's going to connect to the tool. And then we are going up, high up into the sky with Peter. So this process you can also see on the big screen here. Precision work by our Peter. As always, here we go. We are ready to work up in a height of up to 32 meters. So we've prepared a little video for you so you can uh, monitor this process closely. We are going up, up to a height of 32 meters right now. If you would like, you can watch it here on our prepared video. Or of course, you can go right here into the sky watching our Peter and I don't know if you notice like it's the next side it's a little bit straining to watch all the way high up it's not straining for our Peter because all he had to do was just tilt his cabin back a little bit so he can watch exactly what's going on in an ergonomically very comfortable position and I think ladies and gentlemen we have reached 32 meters the PC 490 HRD in a height of 32 meters. Thank you very much, Peter. What a great demonstration. And while I have you sort of looking up into the sky, maybe I can direct your attention just over there to our PC 950-11, our crawler excavator. It's new, it's brand new, and it will be available here very, very soon. And if you would like to know more about it, Please don't hesitate to contact one of my colleagues to tell you all about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with the PW100XX, we have already given you just a little bit of a glimpse into the future. Now I think it's time to look just a step further. Komatsu has set itself the goal of achieving carbon neutrality by the year 2050. That means virtually zero carbon emissions. In the medium term, Komatsu plans to reduce CO2 emissions by 50%, as well as increasing the use of renewable energies to 50% by the year 2030, and that is compared to the numbers of the year 2010. In order to achieve this ambitious goal, Komatsu is investing a lot of time, money, and of course also experience in alternative drive concepts, and a key word here, of course, is electromobility. In this context, we're very proud over here in Hall C6. We're presenting to you a range of hydraulic excavators, all powered electrically up to the size of the PC210. And right here at the demo area, we have the very first electrically driven wheel loader by Komatsu. There it is, and isn't it a beauty? This here is the WA Electric, and this is a prototype under test in which the travel drive, the steering, as well as all the work equipment are all operated completely electrically. The quick coupler is still actuated hydraulically and this enables us to control the hydraulic attachments and operate them in the same way as with conventional wheel loaders. And in the final expansion stage of this concept, what we are planning to do is use a battery, a very powerful battery, a battery that allows us to operate this wheel loader on a job site under normal working conditions for an entire day. So ladies and gentlemen, dear visitors at Bauma, that concludes our demo show. Thank you so much for spending the last 30 minutes with us right here. It has been a lot of fun telling you a little bit about the Komatsu machines. If you have questions regarding Komatsu machines or services, please don't hesitate. Talk to one of my colleagues either right here at the demo site or just over there in Hall C6. Hey Lars, you're back and you're not coming empty-handed. What have you got? Oh, you have got some presents for our fantastic audience. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Bauma visitors, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day, and thank you for being with us right here at Komatsu. See you soon.